Hi, every... What? Some, somebody's car alarm is going off out there. Well, if you haven't guessed from the overly obvious title or the other information presented just a couple seconds ago, this is the car episode of my official vlog. Today I wanted to talk about some vehicle issues I've got going on right now. I hate my car. So I'm a little bit bitter towards cars today. My car has some problems, uh, namely the alternator isn't working properly. I've got a handy tool around here somewhere. Handy tool, where are you, my handy tool? I can't find my handy little tool. I was going to show you this tool that I bought. Uh, it's, a, it's a little thing you plug into your uh, cigarette power and it shows you stats on your battery because most modern auto manufacturers don't think that you're smart enough to deserve to have a gauge that tells you you know what your alternator is doing or what your battery charge status is at they just put dumb little light on that goes bing 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 when something's wrong it doesn't even say whether it's a battery issue or a starter issue or a motor issue it just says service engine soon so i bought this little tool it's like five bucks and it tells you everything you need to know about your battery and your starter your alternator all anything that requires electricity as it turns out my alternator is shot there is no alternator bye bye and so now i need to buy an alternator for my car which is expensive and sucks and i face a real dilemma here because i'm a car person and i uh want to replace the alternator myself but i'm looking up the prices and it's like hundred and seventy five dollars to buy an alternator and then replace it myself or it's like two hundred and thirty dollars to have somebody else do it which would take a lot less time I wouldn't bruise my knuckles or pull anything. I wouldn't have to deal with messing with my stupid serpentine belt. Mini rant, I hate serpentine belts. I love my old pickup truck with three belts. I love my old K car with four belts. It's the it's the whole alignment thing. I just don't like figuring it out. All right, I'm probably going to wind up paying somebody else to do it, but that sucks. I've got to go out and run some errands. Actually, I should take you along with me, because then you could get to see the Studebaker. I don't think I've taken you anywhere before. We've just sat here in my office, in the presence of uh, Ford and Einstein and the others that you can't see because they're on those walls. So, so come on, let's go. Let's Come on. This, no. You're supposed to follow me. Come on. Come on. That's right. That's better. So this fine specimen of automobile excellence is my car. Like I said, the alternator's bad. We won't be taking this out today. We'll be taking my wife's car. Took her to work. Hi, honey. Uh, I've got to go run and drop some stuff off at the uh, uh, post office. We need to get some stamps, and I need to drop off a, a wedding invitation and a uh, bill, of course. What does everybody have? Bills. Uh, I also need to deposit some stuff into my business account. I've got to take some stuff to the bank. I just caught the postman before I uh, headed out. Looks like I got some mail from my bank. I don't have any money. I've got some mail from a credit card company. We want to give you plastic in place of money. Uh, another credit card company. We want to give your business money. Another bill. You should give us money. Is money all this world's about? Of course, I also got this, uh, one of my favorite uh, magazines out there in the mail. That's right. I'm a video producer. I produce them professionally. I make money for them. Anyway, let's get on the road here. Let's uh, run some errands. Gee, cars are noisy. I don't think I'm going to film in cars again because they're so noisy. A uh, kind Samaritan just pointed out to me that my tire on my wife's car is almost flat. Go figure. I need tires on both of our cars. So I'm here at the gas station. I'm going to put some air in the tire real quick, and then we'll get back on the road to finish up my errands. Okay. Well, we took care of that. On to the next mission.
small towns are cool because they have two slots, one for local and one for out of town. All right, now we're on the road again. So, yeah, we're driving through a cornfield to get here. Actually, this isn't a cornfield. This is kind of a crap field. Oh, look, a grasshopper landed on my windshield. So this is the Studebaker in all its glory, or lack thereof. It's uh, in kind of rough shape right now. It needs a lot of work. As you can see from these images, we've taken the hood off, the trunk off. We've taken the interior out. We've taken a lot of the glass out of the vehicle already. We've got a long ways to go on this car. We've just got started. We've got a lot of rust repair. We've got some holes in the floor panels. We've got some holes in the wheel wells. We've got holes just about everywhere that need to be repaired. And so I need to take care of all that as well. You know, one thing I'd like to point out with these old cars, I love old cars. And the reason is this. Take a look at this engine compartment. Now, now look around and see what you see how many parts you can identify, how many parts you don't see is something else I'd like you to take a look at. Now look at my Buicks. Much different story altogether. So there it is. I know you're thinking, what have I gotten myself into? I'm thinking that too a little bit, but it should be fun. Anyway, let's get back home. I've got some more stuff we need to talk about. Well, thanks for coming with me on my errands today. I really appreciate that. Hopefully we'll get a chance to go out again. I've got some things i got to tend to today, so I will leave you with this thought. 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 What should I say? Thought. No, no. Thought. I got nothing. Later. <laughs>